Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we'll take a look at the latest update for Android 15. Now this is for QPR1, which is that quarterly platform release, and this is the first one, so this will be launched during the month of December. Now QPRs, this is where you get a feature drop, giving you more brand new features and tweaks than just regular monthly updates. Now so far we are on beta 3 of the QPR1 so far. So we have beta 1, beta 1.1, which is basically just a bug fix or hot fix, we also had Beta 2, which was launched on September 12th, and Beta 3, which was launched yesterday on October 23rd. So we will do a direct comparison from this QPR 1 Beta 3 versus the stable version of Android 15, which was just launched for Pixel devices very recently. Now with this update, I'll show you a few of the changes and updates and tweaks, but I also wanna let you know some of the things that they also fixed. And this is also giving you that security patch of October, 2024. So let's scroll down really fast just to kind of show what they were able to fix or some of the top resolved issues. So we'll just take a look at just a couple of these, then we'll take a look and do a side-by-side -side comparison. So they were able to fix an issue that sometimes caused notifications to be displayed with some content that was cut off. Also fixed an issue where the volume buttons didn't work when connected to certain Bluetooth devices. And then a few additional things over here, some of them causing you know UI, system UI to crash. Uh, fixed an issue that sometimes prevented users from interacting with heads up notification, fixed an issue that sometimes caused the system to crash while taking a bug report. And then down over here is kind of the important ones for that Bluetooth resolved issue. So they fixed a crash that occurred primarily in the testing environment when Bluetooth resources were reused uh, between virtual device instances and improved the low energy audio volume control by enabling independent adjustments of each connected volume using the UI and limiting the volume key adjustment to the primary sync. So really, they were able to fix a bunch of things, but also, you know, most importantly, they fixed a lot of Bluetooth issues. So now that we've kind of, you know, taken a look at this, now let's take a look at what is new with beta three and compare it versus the stable version of Android 15. So first up, let's take a look at a feature that was actually added into both of these. So there is a new feature added in inside of the stable version of Android 15, as well as this QPR1 Beta 3. Now, this is where you have that adaptive vibration. So when you go inside of sound and vibration, sound and vibration, as you scroll down, this is where you go to vibration and haptics. Same thing over here, vibration and haptics. This is where you have adaptive vibration, and this is where you can turn it on or off. Basically what it does, it's able to adjust your phone's vibrations based on the environment, like if it's in a pocket or a loud place. So your phone's microphone and other sensors are used to determine sound levels and context. No data is ever recorded. So it's just noticing if your environment is super loud, then it's able to vibrate just a little bit harder inside your pocket or sitting on a desk. Now next up, let's take a look at a tweak that they did when it comes down to your theme icons. So right here, you can see that both of these phones are pretty much the exact same. They are identical, exact same wallpaper. Everything interacts and changes and looks the exact same. All the applications and folders are in pretty much the exact same spots. They are literally a mirror image. And so this is perfect for you to show and see the change that they did with the themes. So when you take a look over here, I also have my color palette the exact same on both devices. Literally, they are just mirrored of each other. When you turn on the themed icons, this is where you can tell the difference. So this right here is the stable version of Android 15. This is Android 15 QPR1 Beta 3. So you can see how they kind of changed the outer ring of all of these icons right here. So this is giving you a bigger contrast. This one is kind of blending in with my wallpaper right there, that kind of a grayish color with a white icon. This is a very contrast friendly change right here, going from this blue color over into that white icon. So this is where you kind of go from white to gray and you also have white to blue. So you are able to see, you know, your applications when you are, you know, your applications a little bit better when you turn on themes. So this is just a little bit of a tweak when it comes down over into the QPR1 beta three. And then lastly, we'll take a look at the bezels on the very top. So when you take a look at your status bar, what they're gonna do with QPR1, and, it, and you can see it's gonna help with the Google Pixel 9 Pro over here, is that they'll actually bring this status bar, this little bezel on the very top, it's gonna be slightly larger. So I don't have another Google Pixel 8 Pro to compare this one to the other version without QPR1, but this area up here is slightly larger to accompany this camera. You can kind of see that this sensor is slightly lower than what it is on the Google Pixel 8. So it'll accompany the larger font, 
So it's going to make this, this, you know, bar appear a little bit larger, but it's also going to accompany that camera sensor as well, just so it looks just a little bit better. Now to take a look at a few changes and features that I like so far with QPR1 versus Android 15 is that over here in QPR1, your settings screen is all set up into different, you know, categories and different sections. It's also like three toned. You have dark gray, gray and white. This one is just listed out everything uh, and it goes in only two colors, basically black and white. So this little icon here is just this section here, which is your Google services and preferences. You still have network and internet on the top, your connected devices on the top, you have applications, notifications, and then you'll have some of the changes and how they are kind of reorganized. I mean, your tips and supports is both on the bottom. Here's your about phone of what you're you know used to now. About phone will be up over here a little bit higher up. This accessibility that was that is over here right now in QPR1 was actually over here from what you're used to. So they were able to upgrade this menu, and I believe that they're also going to upgrade their quick settings as well. So when you take a look at this screen, they're probably going to update this in the future for both of these, for QPR1 and also with you know the stable version of Android 15, obviously. So because they went to their settings screen and categorized it and put it in different sections, I believe that soon they may also do that with the quick settings screen as well. The next feature that they changed and updated, which I am a big fan of, is screen record. So first off, you can see that some of the words are kind of different. So this is a single app, and this one is record one app. So they switched it going from this a single app to record one app, which for some people, if you're not used to screen recording, it might make more sense if you read it this way, which is record one app versus a single app. This right here just says entire screen, and this one says record entire screen. So let's just say that we go through and we tap on the full entire screen, right? We hit on this record button, and what's gonna happen is how it kind of looks and how you're able to interact with it. So on the stable version of Android 15, you have this little icon over here. So this is the recording icon, but you can't interact with it. In order for you to stop this recording over here, you have to pull down and hit on stop, which means if you're recording your full entire screen, you just recorded that end result right here of you pulling down your top menu. Now with this one, it's much larger. It's over here on the left-hand side and you're actually able to interact with it. So rather than me having to pull down the notifications panel to hit stop, I can just tap there and hit on stop recording and it's done. So that way it doesn't have to show me pulling down at the very end of the video. Now let's take a look at battery. So this one is the charging optimization menu. So when you take a look at QPR1, this is where you go inside of battery. Here is Android 15, you go inside of battery. And right here, what you will see is a different word change. And it's because with adaptive charging, that's all it is. When you tap there, you only have one option inside of this little menu, and that is adaptive charging. Now when it comes here, you have charging optimization and you have a couple options. First off, you have regular adaptive charging, which again was right over here from before, or you can also limit your charging to 80%. So your phone will only charge to 80% battery. Basically, it's to help extend the battery lifespan and your phone will only charge to 80% rather than it going the full cycle up to 100%, down to whatever, up to 100 again, and you're doing a full cycle. So this is a way that's able to save you 20% every single time, which means that you're doing that full battery life cycle less times through the years that you own your phone. And you can also see that the battery icon right over here, the little charging stuff has also been changed and updated as well. So rather than seeing this icon, you're going to see something right over here. And then lastly, we'll take a look at the keyboard. So they were able to add in a shortcut icon right over here on the bottom right hand side. You can see that there's nothing sitting over here. And what this little icon does, it is again, a shortcut for you to switch between which keyboard you would like to use if you have multiple keyboards. And it's another way just to switch from your Gboard over into your Google Voice typing. So whichever one you would like to use, you'd be able to use the Google Voice typing or you'd be able to switch it simply over into another keyboard. Again, it's not sitting over here in the regular stable version of Android 15. So this was just everything new with the, the QPR1 beta 3 and then a few additional features and settings and tweaks that I like so far when it comes down over into QPR1. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. Hopefully you guys have liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.